Y'all, shh. Don't tell anyone, but I have bread in the house. Good morning. I'm Tracy, and my channel's Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. Hey, y'all. I mean, why did bread become like crack cocaine? <laughs> it's a gateway drug. <laughs> First you have bread, then you have ice cream, y'all. I know how that works. Anyway, I, I kind of wanted to brag about my piece of toast. I make French toast, y'all. I made, I had gotten this, you know, spur of the moment, brioche cinnamon bread from Walmart. And it's been in the fridge. And it's really, y'all, so I have, somebody had given me this. One of my um, patrons had gone to Maine or Canada. I don't remember now. Um, maybe it was Canada. Anyway, Golden Blossom Organic Maple Syrup. Y'all, who knew that stuff we were growing up with as kids? It was just lethal. But gosh, it tastes so good. But I made, because um, the bread was getting old, so I'm going to freeze them. So now individually and I can have a piece of French toast when I want it and uh, yeah don't want to waste my bread <sighs> y'all um, let me get a bite in my stomach because I had to take my medicine oh I have one my I have I have two more antibiotics I don't like the feel of antibiotics, but I'm sure I don't like the feel of a infected tooth area. So the story is, I'm definitely on the older side now because my roommate likes it a little cooler, which I much prefer than someone who wants it hot. And I can put on a jacket, y'all. This is my new one I showed y'all. I don't know if I even posted that, but yeah. So I thought, I'm just going to eat here. I didn't want to bring all my food down. So I don't even know where I left off. Um, the hot water heater, no. Thank God. No, that's fine. The hot water was not working in her room, the bathroom. You know, I just laughed about control. I thought I had gone through everything. Okay, I checked everything. Yeah, go ahead and think that, right? Anyway, it cost me a chunk of change, but it is finished. So that's good. And, um, you know, all my mom's furniture and stuff has been in the garage. But finally, I offered, um, you know, I, and I've been in this place where someone's offering you something great that you couldn't afford, then you can't afford to move it. But I um, offered $100, and it's my um, friend Sophia, who's my clean, head of the cleaning crew I use. So she ran a U-Haul, and all that's going out today. So that makes me feel good. Um, plus it's it kind of sad whenever I see it in there with my mom. But anyway, so like all these little things are the door shutting and moving on to something else. But yeah, I'm overly tired. You know, I, um, so I had an abnormal pap smear, so I have to get a biopsy on my cervix, apparently, is what it is. So, so, you know, as much as you try to be like, oh, yeah, no big deal, it feels like a big deal. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my last ones um, from this autoimmune disorder I have. Again, like, you know, you go to the doctor and you think you're doing the right thing, and then your doctor's not doing the right thing. Again. You don't know what you don't know. That's just the truth. But anyway, yeah, I think it's, you know, I'm trying to have a good attitude because, you know, what else can you do? But yeah, it's niggling at me. It's, um, it's a week from today. I haven't got my last results in, but it has pushed me forward to, um, to get, um, a colon a appointment with a gastro person, GI person, just to go ahead and get my colonoscopy. But of course you can't call an office. 
you have to fill out something online and then they contact you. And then, you know, I don't know who to choose, but I, um, the, this is a big group that I went to last time and, um, they do have offices right near me. So I, um, I chose someone who works out of both. There's, there's two different places. Um, work out both of them. And there's a place around here to get the colonoscopy, which would be good. So whoever takes me just has to come up. We're right there, bring me home and then go home as opposed to us going down and back and down. But what I'm gonna do is drop by their office if I don't hear from them and see if I can just go in person and make an appointment. Cause it could take months. But anyway, like, you know, how boring is that? But yes, I'm feeling a little, um, it's just a lot of change. It's just a lot, right? And poor little Clara. So the person who came in yesterday is a good friend of um, Kenny's to do the this plumbing stuff. And I've met him before. He, um, he painted our house when we first moved in. And, um, but you know, poor little Clara. She is, um, well, she's eating. Nothing will stop my girl from eating. Um, she has a little, her sinuses are, you know, messed up, but I'm giving her drops in her nose and she's been sleeping with me part of the night. So that's good. And I keep the door cracked so she can come in and out. Um, yeah. So we'll see how this, you know, it is what it is. Life goes on, but I just feel so tired and I don't know. I don't know. Is it worry? Is it just the rhythm is different? I'm not sleeping quite as well. I still need a mattress. Like, I need it sooner rather than later, but I just think, oh my gosh. Like, it feels Herculean. So anyway, I'm just, yeah, trying to drink lots of water and um, eat healthier, like French toast. What you don't know is I put a little bit of my unflavored protein powder in the egg stuff. Oh, look at them crying. I'm just tired. And um, so it gets a little bit more balanced, but also, you know, I have my protein shake with it. But yeah, I'm like, why does the bread feel like cocaine or whatever? Like an illegal substance. Beverly's thing is bread. And, um, you know, I had this idea of an opening like, um, but I can't, I couldn't, you know, like picture of a library and, you know, and then a picture, you know, like BFF or, you know, this or Claire the cat or, you know, Kenny the, the best, you know, the greatest person on the planet. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know how to do that, y'all. I got lots of ideas. So my new roommate, she's not techie like that. She doesn't garden. She doesn't like to cook. But other than that, she's okay. I, you know, I told the God and the angels, like, okay, this is my wish list, but hey, nice to me and Clara, responsible. We will settle for that. But yeah, so, um, I can't believe it's only Wednesday. I was only at work like eight, six hours this week since Sunday, and I feel like I've worked 40 hours. <laughs> but maybe too, because I'm not having as much sugar as I was having, Make me feel a little bit, you know, but I'm trying to drink the water, 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 and I'm doing better. It's just hard because I get in a groove at work, right? Anyway, um, yeah, my tooth, I, I didn't, I'm trying to think, I took a tiny bit. It's really wild to me how long this tooth is taking not to hurt. I mean, it's not crazy hurt, but you know what I mean? I can feel it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Is it because my body is riddled with cancer? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking now. And not so dumb. Yeah, but you, you know, I'm a little theatric if y'all haven't figured that out. But yeah, take, cancel, cancel, my friend would say. Oh gosh, can you imagine? I am not done decluttering, so nothing can happen to me. 
but it has made me think like, you know, you're ready to let more go. It's simple, but we'll see in the garage y'all. And I'm trying to um, hook up with Mark and Sue, do a taste test, and we gotta plan our pumpkin palooza taste test. That got derailed last year. And as much as it is fun to tear around town, I'm gonna kinda kinda limit the pumpkin stuff. I'd like to try things I've never tried. We'll see. Or maybe even try different pumpkin recipes made from scratch. Might be interesting. I'm feeling in a muffin mood. I was looking at Wegmans just to see what pumpkin stuff they had. And um, it's a little early, but. Okay, so they have four pumpkin muffins. And I'm not kidding. It was like $11.99 for four muffins. Wow. I know. Their muffins are good. Don't get me wrong. Eleven ninety nine. I thought, whoa, that's crazy. I thought you can make your own muffins. I even have some pumpkin, canned pumpkin. So I'm like, maybe this weekend you'll want to make something. I don't know. We'll see. But Saturday is major. Okay, I, I'm not going to do push myself six, eight hours. But we're going to do a good four hours of decluttering in the garage. I talked about this yesterday, though I haven't posted it. And then, you know, my next push is my library. And that's probably a good four to five hours of work to be where it is. I want, you know, just to be like feeling comfortable and, you know, it's a working room. So, but yeah, but I wanted to show you. I didn't show you yesterday. I don't think I had it with me. I showed you something else. But I'm trying to get my art on, I'm trying to get my creativity flowing again. And um, not that it's not flowing, but putting it on, you know. Putting, spending time taking the class, do following through on the classes. Y'all, where is this? So this is one of my journals. I don't know if you can see this, a picture of my dad. You see that? You see that? My daddy. Look at him. We must have been on vacation. That looks like a motel. Well, he could have been on, um, TD, I call it like TDY or something, like when you go away on a trip. And my mom used to say they would never tell them because it was top secret. And they could be gone for like two weeks to a month. They never knew. Um, and the, all the women would get together in the squad and um, start noticing what they were packing. <laughs> so if it was winter stuff, or opposed to summer stuff, Anyway, this has, so this is a transfer from a photo. Well, it's a photocopy of an old photo. Isn't that cool? Now, I'm, you know, shockingly a little impatient, but in general, I think it adds to it. So now what I'm going to do is do some collaging, painting and stuff. But also this assignment is you do a haiku. How fun is that? So um, I got to pull, I have different places where words are. And she had these really cute old tins. And, um, and I was doing something last night. And this is just like, sometimes it comes out better than other times. Like this one, um, it's from a different sheet I had. It's an older sheet, but anyway, there's still a lot of white. See that white? So you wanna be careful. And again, I think in some places I put, um, I didn't put enough gel. But it's, right now it's just practicing and you know, it's serendipitous. I have another one to do. So, so that's what it starts like. I could give Claire loves for water. And then that's what it ends up like. And then this next class I'm taking, her name's Jane Chip. Uh, but she gave us one in black and white and one in color. So, anyway, that's something I want to do this weekend is look through some photos, y'all. I'll show you. It's amazing how many cool photos there are, we have. And, you know, it's a big thing to buy photos, y'all. It can be expensive now. 
But whenever I go antiquing or thrifting, that kind of thing, I do keep an eye out, you know, in case you find something that a really good deal. But a lot of them are like gold. So, all right, well, for now, I'm going to finish up. And I'm going to go do a little bit of time in the laundry room. Not the laundry room, my library. And then I have, I have sheets to put upstairs. But I am now a finisher. I'm Because my kitchen is so decluttered, it's easy to put things away. And I am. I'm doing the dishwasher every other day, taking out trash every other day. So these are good habits for me. All right, guys, I'll pop on and um, yeah, I'll get this all figured out. But yeah, so lots of prayers. I'm sure I'm fine, but it is what it is, right? Waiting is the hard part, right? Not knowing, but I was thinking about this because a month ago, you know, I had no idea of all this. But yeah, it's the same thing. I don't, do you know what I mean? No, you don't, because I'm tired. All right, guys. <laughs>